How about an update on the 1950 Willys Jeep? Oh. Yep, lots of cutting. Um, the trick was to get the fenders level. You can see it. They are level, the back mounts are made. I have to make a radiator support mount and front cab mounts. Uh, the five liter is in it. I haven't run it. I've got uh, the ready to run distributor, ready to run, top dead center, new plugs, new oil, valve cover leak. I hate these cork gaskets. I'm not sure why it leaked, but when I put oil in it, it leaked right there. I got to pull it out and uh, put another gasket on it. Having trouble. I made a radiator mount for this aluminum radiator I had. And, oh, it fits perfectly in there, except S10 steering box. No good rotten. So, looking at a three core original radiator uh, for the big six that was in here. Should be enough to cool that. If not, we'll put an electric fan in front of it to help, I guess. So that's what I'm kind of looking at right now. That's how much we dropped. Oh, let me see if I got a light here. Where is the light? Here's the light. Let's see if it stays on. So that's how much I've had to drop. I dropped this cab down on the frame seven inches now i'll have to cut that out and uh when i make the tunnel it will be like the uh 50 uh 1950 uh ford f1 that i did with the v8 five speed in it uh, i will have to uh make that tunnel right out through the back not a big deal uh no gauges no nothing this car truck was stripped out um i pulled the original steering wheel apart we're going to put it back in a different position. Juice brakes. Of course, this is an S10 frame, so we're going to go with the uh, disc front drum rear. Just a double reservoir, proportion valve. We're going to, I'm going to use a um, clutch pedal um, and master cylinder out of a... I'll probably use the, see if I can find the original. Well, I got original. I've got the clutch pedals and stuff out of the donor truck, so we can put those back in here. And then I will uh, modify the rod to go through for to push the uh, reservoir, clutch reservoir, master cylinder. Uh, throwout bearing is internal on this Ford. It's already in there. I'm just going to hook everything up. I have a mess. I tipped that over a minute ago when I was looking for my iPad. Um, you can see on the back of the cab, how down far it is, that cab, a little bit of rust in that cab corner and inside the door, we're gonna do some metal work when we get to that point. But other than that, there's really no rust on the cab at all. A couple dents. My brother's gonna leave it with the fire department stuff on it. There you go. Anybody know where that is? <laughs> so, yeah, here's a uh, radiator out of a Ranger, I believe. Yeah, doesn't fit. So we're limited to 18 inches wide, excuse me, yeah, 18 and a half inches wide and 20 inches tall. And I can get a custom radiator made or we can actually put in a, uh, the original type radiator. Um, I'm not beyond uh, modifying the hood latch system and using the radiator I have. As long as I, I would have to take all this out and then I'd have to come in here and make a bracket, but get rid of this lip right here. And I'm, uh, I'm thinking I could probably get that radiator in and it would be up into here a little bit. Because uh, that radiator is probably too tall. 21 inches too tall. 
too tall. Let's see. Sorry for the herky jerky. Yeah, way too tall. So uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to drop it down. I wanted to drop it down below the uh, grill because the bumper would be covering it up and I could gain four or five inches. The problem is steering box and has tens in the way. That's why I like Ranger front clips on these small trucks because you have rack and pinion and we don't have we don't run into that problem. Live and learn. Uh, everybody said use an S10 frame. Yeah, they are nice to work with, but you it's hard to put a V8 in it, a Ford V8 in it, and on a Willys old truck. Probably probably done somewhere. I'm gonna try to find some videos and watch it. So yeah, that's where I am. Bunch of parts, cut her down, made the mounts for the rear. Got to do uh, one, two, three, four more mounts. Four more mounts. And, of course, then I got to pull. This is just mocking it up. Still going to try to figure out what his seat height is for his ride height so I can mount the steering wheel. I can use his original steering wheel. I think I started saying that. Uh, the shaft is over here. I'll just cut it down. And I will, uh, of course, put the U-joint on the end of it. Uh, I'll use, a, uh, it's a, actually the, the standard bearing I use in the, uh, uh, for the, the shaft, steering shaft anyway. So once I cut his regular steering column down, I can press in a new uh, bearing and uh, dimple it so it won't come out. And we'll have some steering so it's easier to move around. I have got a... Uh, dry shaft that's the right dry shaft that goes in the transmission I have the back half to uh, the dry shaft cut off to move up and then I can just use a combination u-joint to go from the Ford to the Chevy and that'll be good enough for mock-up for moving it around and when we finally get everything done uh, we'll get a, the, a new dry shaft made so uh, still a lot of work to go on it but uh, finally getting into some mock-up on it and uh, Trying to get as much done. I want to get this so I can run it and move it around uh, to bring it in and out as I need to work on it. Um, or just move it off the hoist when I need to use the hoist instead of pushing it around. And uh, I have been putting it on the dollies, but uh, it's kind of a pain in the ass. So, okay. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you soon. Yeah. Anybody's got an idea? Well, there's lots of ideas. 18, 18 uh, inches uh, uh, wide, uh, 19 inches tall would be perfect. Uh, I've got to look up a radiator, see what I can do for that. The original ra radiator should uh, fit, but I just want to make sure it can handle the cooling on the V8. All right, uh, that's one thing I didn't see. Oh, and the other thing is, before I go, jumping out of the please subscribe, like, and everything to right back into the video. Look at that. Uh, that's in the way of the power steering pump, the lower radiator hose, so we're going to have to drop it down, bring it across, and back in, so I theoretically need a uh, original 50 style radiator, so I can have the outlet on this side where I have more room, inlet and outlet, inlet and outlet. I made this up real quick to try to mock up that radiator, yeah. Not working. Not working. Okay. Bring it back soon.